Project Rushmore 2014, what can we look forward to? Oh look, Project Rushmore, that's, that's been awesome this year. We've had a uh, complete re-engineer of uh, the touring platform. You know, big news for us is the twin cooling. Uh, on the Ultra Classic and the Ultra Limited bikes. And the twin cooling just, you know, it's helped us increase horsepower, lower the operating temperature of the vehicle. Uh, alongside that, we've, we've, we've introduced uh, reflex-linked ABS brakes, which is huge improvement technology for us. We've got a new infotainment center with touchscreen on some of them, boombox audio as we call it. There's nothing like cruising along a big highway and you've got the boombox audio happening and it's just a really great feeling, you know. And we've got tons of other changes too. We've changed uh, uh, aerodynamics in regards to the front fairing, uh, new saddlebags, bigger capacity in the top box, so forth, uh, and, and other engineering updates on, on the vehicles as well. So that's that's actually, we've some of our dealers are saying they've sold uh, more Project Rushmore bikes in this last month or two than they have uh, in the last 12 months, so that's a great sign. The X Factor is the open, the cruising, the lifestyle, out on the road. Um, there's no limits to what you can do. Um, they're not a sports bike as such, but on the road, it's just sit back, cruise, relax. What's your top tip for someone who's about to go on an open a road adventure? As in, what should they be looking for on a bike? The bikes are so good these days that, that I don't think it really matters. I, th I think you should come along to, the, to bike shows like this, have a look and see what you, what you like and, and, and buy the thing that, that, that turns you on. That's, that's as simple as that. You know, get on the bike, have a look and say, I like this and that's good enough. Ever since I was a kid, Harley was always the ultimate motorbike. They're just, they're beautiful. They've got this fantastic tradition, this, this kind of this dream of getting on a Harley and just riding out on the open road. I think it's just a great opportunity for a perv. You know, like you've got this showroom full of motorbikes and the best section is the Harley section. And I mean the motorbikes. <laughs>
I'm on a break here at the moment. Uh, love it, love it to bits. I've had, a, had the opportunity to, to sit on a few bikes and test ride a few bikes, and uh, the breakout is probably my favourite at the moment, definitely. It's just getting on there, the freedom, no mobile phones, you know, you just, you get in your own world and you just ride and you enjoy it. And you can, you know, I've said it a heap of time, you get on the road and you a bit of rain and you can smell the grass and smell the road, it's, it's, it's a great feeling. I like the matte finishes that's just coming in, coming out now. I think they're pretty cool. I like the matte black finishes, but the, um, the light brown matte finish is a pretty cool one as well. So, I mean, they're always changing and always um, testing the market, I suppose, and people enjoy it. Footy you know, consumes most of your week and most of your year, and it's, it's pretty intense um, throughout the year. So to get on a bike and get on the open road, and as Heine said, no, no phones, and it gives you plenty of time to think and just relax, I think, and that's the best part I think I enjoy about riding one. You like riding on the back of me, don't you? Like riding and holding on nice and tight. <laughs> that's what you like, isn't it, about riding? I struggle to get my arms around him, that's the thing, so. Everyone that has a Harley or lives, I guess, that passion, shares the passion for Harley, actually makes it their own and they put their own stamp with it and that's what I think the bikes allow you to do. So, you know, you can run up a whole bunch of, say, street glides like mine and I'll, I'll guarantee there's probably very hard to find two the same because of what your personality that you want to put into your bikes. I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen with the 500, in all honesty. Um, it would be interesting to see what sort of customs come out of that sort of scene, which, you know, I'd love to take one of those things for a spin as well one day. Are you surprised at the variety of bikes here on the Harley-Davidson stand? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And I think, you know, um, having motorbikes that are a bit smaller, that would suit different public and, you know, and different styles of riding and everything. So in that sense, yeah, definitely. Are you more attracted to your man because he rides a Harley? I've always liked the Harleys better than the sports bikes, so yes. <laughs>